Hello everybody, it's me, Sports Talk Guy. And in this episode, we'll be talking about two NFL players, one who is a superstar, and one who is a guy that maybe people might not know about. So, we're here to talk about Champ Bailey and Ryan Mallett. They're probably saying, well, what significance do these two players have? Well, I'll tell you. Well, I assume most of you know what significance Champ Bailey has. And most of you are probably thinking, well, what does Ryan Mallett have to do with anything? Well, reports have came out that number one overall uh, draft pick team, the Houston Texans, are looking for a trade with the New England Patriots for Ryan Mallett. Some of you might be asking, well, who is Ryan Mallett? Ryan Mallett was the uh, 2011 third-round draft pick of the New England Patriots. He's the backup quarterback to Tom Brady. Now, why is this interesting? It's interesting because Mallett's been in the league three years, hasn't started the game other than preseason games. But the interesting thing is, he's been groomed under Brady, and that causes, I guess, what's it called? I guess that causes, causes propaganda, and maybe teams are interested. He learned under Brady. And Brady's mentor, before Brady started an NFL game, was Drew Bledsoe. And we Drew Bledsoe was also a very successful quarterback, and Brady even became more successful than his predecessor was. So, there you go. So, now, there's talking about that, and they're saying that the Texans want Ryan Mallett, and they could go after Jadavian Clowney. I think that's a great move. Ryan Mallett, nobody knows. I mean, it's high-risk, high-reward, I guess you could say. Or it's high-risk, no-reward. But who knows? I, I th always thought that Ryan Mallett would be the guy after Tom Brady came, or it was after Tom Brady's career was over. I mean, I, I mean, let's look at top quarterbacks who groomed younger quarterbacks, and eventually just they ended up becoming successful. I mean, we have Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers. You have Tom Brady and Drew Bledsoe. There you go. Heck, if you even want to count this as one, you have Philip Rivers and Drew Brees. Even though Brees won his own way and eventually became successful, and they, now they're both top quarterbacks. So, I mean, who knows? Who knows? They could both become very... I, I like Ryan Mallett. I always said that he will be the guy after Brady, but maybe they're thinking, hey, we'll just get rid of him. Brady still probably has, at his age, probably three to five years left we have of seeing Tom Brady. So... Maybe they figure they'll find a guy in the draft to groom for another three years, and then that guy will be the next guy to take it over from Tom Brady. And now on to Champ Bailey. Champ Bailey has just been released by the Denver Broncos. And by the time this episode comes up, he could already be with a team, for all we know. But at this rate, he probably won't be. And now there's a report coming. There's another report that came out. I, I You notice that there's a lot of reports that have been coming out about a lot of things, especially in the NFL free agency. There's a report that came out that Champ Bailey showing mutual interest with both these guys in the Atlanta Falcons. I, as an Eagles fan, would love, love, love to see Champ Bailey on the team, especially with that weak secondary they have. Now, I'm going to say it. Knock on wood. Jerry's Bird is practically a lockup for the Eagles. Both t both sides have shown mutual interest. Jerry's Bird wants to, he's came out and said the Eagles are doing everything right. He wouldn't mind being a part of the team. And there you go. And the Eagles have 24 million cap space right now, which ranks high among most teams. There's plenty of room to work with, and you sign a guy like Champ Bailey for a year or two. Now you have a secondary that consists of your starting safety. We're just going to say Jerry Spurt is your starting safety. And the Eagles like to run a lot of nickels, so three cornerbacks. They have, you'll have now Kerry Williams as your number one. Champ Bailey is your number two. And your slot corner, who had six interceptions last year, might I add, Brandon Boykin. That's going to be a very strong secondary. It's going to go from a very weak secondary to a very strong secondary in a matter of one free agency. And I'd love that. So let's see if both of those end up happening. But then again, ba Bailey could go somewhere else. He's Chad Bailey is one of the best cornerbacks in NFL history. Age has caught up to him a little bit, but we'll see how much it's really caught up to him. And I know I said a few videos ago how he was part of the demise, I guess, of the Broncos. But I'd still take him in Philly. He's better than what we got. So I'd be very happy to take him. Anyways, it was a short episode. That's all I really wanted to talk about. Some small moves that could be happening in this upcoming free agency. And I'm going to give a bit of a free agency outlook coming up soon. So uh, watch out for that. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.